Okay guys, today we're gonna to talk about Marina Del Rey. It's definitely one of my favorite neighborhoods in Los Angeles. I've lived there myself for over a year and I'm super excited to talk about it. There's amazing things in Marina Del Rey. It's a great neighborhood to live. So let's jump into the video. Marina Del Rey, Harbor of the King, is the largest man-made marina in North America with a population of just over 10,000 people. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the weather because it's super special in Marina Del Rey. Everybody talks about how Los Angeles and California have great weather in general, but in particular, Marina Del Rey has some of the most spectacular weather in the United States. The average monthly temperature throughout the year is actually a perfect 74 degrees. I think if I had to pick like an average temperature that would be my ideal average temperature, I might just pick 74 degrees, so that's great. And in Marina, because it's a marina, you're getting cooler temperatures than a lot of the other areas in Los Angeles as the weather heats up. So let's say it's like a 100 degree day in Los Angeles. Chances are it's no, no more than like 80 degrees or around there in Marina Del Rey. It's like super cool compared to the rest of Los Angeles, sometimes even 20 or 30 degrees cooler depending on what area you're comparing it to. So it's pretty amazing. In fact, the high temperatures in Marina Del Rey rarely ever pass 84 degrees on the high side. And on the low side, you're not gonna see many days with temperatures below 50 degrees. So you really have a very nice temperature range in Marina Del Rey. It's like not too hot, not too cold, just right, you know, like Goldilocks. You're also gonna see a really cool marine mist in many of the mornings in Marina Del Rey that sort of just creeps up from the ocean and covers the area a little bit, but it's usually gone by the late morning, but it's almost like, you know, you feel like almost you're in like a little wonderland or something like that. The way the mist comes up is almost kind of magical to me. So the weather in Marina Del Rey really sets it apart from other areas or neighborhoods in Los Angeles. You really get the feeling of oceanside living. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is Marina Del Rey's proximity to Los Angeles International Airport or LAX. As you can see, it's only four miles away from LAX, which makes it super convenient to drive in and out of the airport. I used to operate car rentals and travel a lot, so I found being close to LAX to be super convenient. No matter what you do or who you are, I think being close to LAX is only gonna be a perk, but then you don't get the downsides of living like right next to the airport where you're gonna hear planes and get all the, the congestion and traffic from LAX. You're, you're far enough away and around the corner that you don't even have to deal with the downsides of being near the airport. So it's pretty incredible. And the main downside I would say to like the location of Marina Del Rey is that if you do wanna get in and out of Los Angeles, and I mean, if you wanna leave Marina Del Rey and, and instead of going to areas around it like Culver City or Venice Beach, you wanna go to areas like the Valley or north, northern areas in Los Angeles, let's say get up towards Ventura, or just in general, you know, go to Hollywood or West Hollywood or something like that, you're gonna have to pass the 10 and the 405 freeway intersection, which is a really backed up intersection like 90% of the time. So in and out of Marina Del Rey to certain areas of Los Angeles is a downside just because you do get a lot of heavy traffic in that 10 405 region, but you know, that's not really a deal breaker and it's kind of inevitable to run across those heavy freeway intersections in Los Angeles. It's just something to note. If you are commuting in and out of Marina Del Rey, it can be a little bit more tough to uh, deal with that traffic coming in and out uh, if, you're, if you are going to those areas. So just keep note of that. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is the lifestyle and things to do in Marina Del Rey. Taking walks down the marina is probably one of the best ways to unwind. I mean, if you move to Marina Del Rey, I can assume you're the type of person that appreciates nature or the water or, you know, that type of stuff in general. So I think you would be taking serious advantage of all the walking paths along the marina. Uh, it's a really just beautiful and there's many pathways. You can take your dog on walks. You can kind of just watch the sunset over the water. It's just awesome area to be in. You can also, you know, have a picnic by the water, have a barbecue by the water. Um, you can go rent a jet ski and take a jet ski out on the water or rent a boat. So there's so many options to just do and things to do around the water in that area. And then right around the corner from Marina Del Rey, you have Playa Del Vista, which is another really nice luxury kind of living community and neighborhood. You have a lot of um, working professionals and you also have a lot of shops and businesses in that area. It's a great place to get coffee, go for a lunch or business meeting. Uh, if you want to spend, spend time in that Playa Del Vista area, it's gonna be literally a five minute drive around the corner. Uh, you got a Home Depot right across the street. You know, all these different restaurants to choose from and it's super clean and well kept and modern. So definitely a big perk of living in the area is Playa Del Vista. And then in addition, you have all these beautiful restaurants along the water in Marina Del Rey and surrounding areas. For example, you got an El Torito on the water there, which is just kind of a Mexican restaurant chain, but I swear the El Torito in Marina Del Rey is the absolute best El Torito in Los Angeles. Uh, it's sitting right on the water with the most beautiful views. The fajitas are great, so I definitely check it out. But there's also 
um, other amazing restaurants like you got salt you got all these different restaurants along the water and some sushi restaurants like sugarfish and things like that and then you're out of the fuzz of venice beach which is right around the corner because it's a very big tourist attraction so a lot of people move in and out of there and you also got some more homeless in that area but you also get the perks of venice beach because you're a mile and a half away you know you could walk there if you wanted to you got abbott kinney you got all these restaurants in venice and just more things to do so the proximity to lax playa del vista venice beach Santa Monica, that's amazing. I mean, like for Santa Monica, which has some of the best bars and nightlife in Los Angeles, or I mean, Santa Monica is not technically Los Angeles, but for all intents and purposes, it's in Los Angeles. So let's say you want to drive over to uh, the nightlife in Santa Monica, but you're coming from downtown LA or, you know, North Hollywood or, or even Hollywood or something like that. It's going to take you like 45 minutes to get to Santa Monica sometimes. Whereas if you live in Marina del Rey, you might be there in 15 minutes. So that's awesome. Also, if you like seafood, I know I just mentioned some restaurants, but seafood restaurants are huge in Marina in that area. You got all these shopping centers and grocery stores and strip malls and businesses that you have access to around the area. Um, and they're all very well kept. So Marina del Rey pretty much has everything you're going to need. Uh, if you work from home, you wouldn't even need to move in and out of the area. Um, if you didn't want to, just because you have everything you need right there. It is one of the safest and best locations in Los Angeles. So you have absolutely amazing, incredible weather in Marina del Rey. You have a really safe neighborhood where you can feel comfortable walking outside and enjoying the ocean and just different amenities offered in the area and a pretty good community around you. And then you also have super close proximity to some super important areas like Venice Beach, Santa Monica, LAX, Culver City, and some major freeways. So all in all, Marina del Rey, between the weather, the things you can do in the location, is definitely in one of my top three neighborhoods to live in Los Angeles in general. So guys, I genuinely have a hard time complaining about Marina del Rey. You can see that I kind of hyped it up in this video, but I just wanted to say that truly, if you plan on moving to Marina del Rey or you're thinking about it, I have nothing but good things to say. It's a great place to live in Los Angeles. It's many levels above other neighborhoods for multiple reasons. It is a little bit more expensive, but you're definitely getting what you pay for. So Marina Del Rey, amazing. So my name's Pierce. Thank you so much for watching. I work on a real estate team in Los Angeles. Uh, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel because I will be releasing weekly videos trying to show you more of the ins and outs of Los Angeles living. And uh, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.